Hello, my name is Ryan Page, and I'm an application specialist for Tecla Structures. Today in this video, we're going to be discussing a few simple tips and tricks for concrete-related tasks inside of Tecla Structures. So with that, let's jump right in. Did you know that the keyboard shortcuts for rendering your reference models has changed in Tecla 2022? Parts are remain the same with the control modifier and then keys 1 through 5. Components remain the same using the shift modifier key and then 1 through 5. But now, reference models require the keyboard modifier of control shift 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 to change to the different rendering modes. So if you've been experiencing some issues controlling your reference models visualization, this may be why. If you don't like these keyboard shortcuts, you can always go to the file menu and then settings and then select keyboard shortcuts. If you need more information on how to do this, just go to the Tecla User Assistance website and use the keyword search keyboard shortcuts. Did you know that Tecla Structures makes it easy for you to search your model for the things you need, whether that's tools to create objects or the objects themselves? For searching for tools is really easy. You can use the quick launch up at the top right. Put in a search term. This will help you navigate to find the correct tool on the ribbon or in the component catalog. You can then select that tool here and then begin to use it. If you're unsure about a tool and don't know how to use it, you can always open up the instructor on the side pane, which will give you instructions and a demonstration of how to use the tool, with additional links to the Tecla User Assistance webpage for more information. Conversely though, we can also search for model objects within the, mo in the model itself. Model search is located down at the bottom left hand corner, and you can use this tool to search for any object by name, profile, material, or position number. In other words, your numbering. It's very easy to do. Just by searching, it'll go ahead and find all those objects for you. And it makes it easy to edit multiple objects at once if needed. Are you utilizing the presets that are supplied within the US environment? For each tool, concrete, steel, reinforcement, or other, there are several drop-down presets that help expedite the creation process of specific objects. For example, you can create quickly columns rectangular or irregular or round for that matter uh, just by selecting. You can update only what's necessary and adjust. The best part about these presets is they're designed to work with the predefined filters supplied through the environment as well. So you don't have to guess and make sure that things are being quantified or classified incorrectly. This also helps pay forward when you want to isolate or turn things on and off in your reporting or drawings. Are you taking advantage of what the contextual toolbar has to offer? It can provide a quick access to settings for views, attributes for parts, reinforcement, and even additional features or tools for components and parts using direct modification. If you have any experience with the contextual toolbar, you notice that it can tend to follow you around wherever you click. This can become cumbersome. If you access it, you can actually pin it in place by using the pin icon at the upper right and then move it to a location that's out of your way, but still easily accessible. You can also maximize or minimize the contextual toolbar. So if you don't like it constantly going in and out, you can keep it maximized for quick access. In addition to, uh, to have access to certain attributes such as positioning, naming, profile, class, and, and other properties of an object, you can also customize the contextual toolbar to have access to other features that are more relevant to you on certain types of objects. You can choose from the top down what type of object you'd like to add features or remove from, and then go ahead and begin to select the options available. You can also add macros or user-defined attributes by searching here. For more information on using and customizing the contextual toolbar, use the Tecla User Assistance search term contextual toolbar. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching. For more information on the topics discussed or for other topics, visit our Tecla User Assistance webpage for product guides, support articles, tutorials, and more.